Hello guys, uh, this is Gautam again. Um, this time we'll be uh, deploying our uh, GPT app in Streamlit, which is what I've done. Um, so we'll be running this GPT app from Colab, which is very advantageous. Uh, um, given the fact that uh, most of our development happened inside uh, Colab, right? So first thing, uh, you'll have to install Streamlit uh, library um, using pip. And uh, I've already uh, included the GPT tutorial in a separate video for which I'll be um, including the link in this video. What we've done is, it's a basic encoding that I've done. It's, it's on a movie dialogue data set. I'll also provide the link to the data set. It is just, uh, we'll be sorting the text and this is a model that will generate characters unlike uh, chat GPT, which will generate tokens. This is going to generate characters. We'll be sorting the characters and we'll be assigning a, a number. That's that's basically the embedding here. And you could see that um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm importing the streamlet and the torch library. And uh, these are all hyperparameters for which I have explanation uh, in the other video. Um, and this is basically the model. And I'll go to the streamlet part directly. So this is, uh, sorry, not this one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is the app basically. Uh, so what I've done is you could see that um, uh, I want to open the em uh, encoding part. I mean, for that, I'm reading the file, movie dialogue data set. And uh, this is basically a text file. You could see, right, it's, it's a movie dialogue conversation that happens uh, in several movies um, amongst the characters of those movies. And I'm only loading the model once. The train model is loaded only once. You can see I'm constructing the model. I'm uh, moving this model to GPU. Uh, and you can do this on CPU as well. Uh, it depends on how fast you want the response. And uh, you could see that I've already loaded the model. The train weights are in the model dict file. And uh, I'll be generating characters. You can see that uh, I'm generating 200 characters given an input. And uh, what I've basically done here is um, I, I want to show something similar to GPT. So I've included this cursor. So when, when folks type something, right, it will give an appearance like uh, the bot is typing. But it, in, in, in essence, it's actually generating a response at once. But I'll be displaying character by character along with this cursor just to give a, a feel to the user that uh, the bot is typing. And then uh, you have, I mean, this is basically the app name, Movie Dialogue Spitter. I don't know of a better name. So I thought that let me do something um, very candid. So this is this will just throw some random movie dialogue. And sometimes it may have no relevance to whatever uh, we are typing. For example, let's say uh, I type, uh, do you like India? It may give some random movie dialogues which will not make a lot of sense and uh, it is bound to make a lot of typos because it is generating characters and not tokens right but uh, it will make sense as far as humans go um, i mean when i say it makes sense uh, um, when you read it as a whole it will still have very little uh, relevance to what was asked but um, as a sentence uh, folks can still understand what the bot is saying so we wanted to have some sort of a conversation back and forth. Uh, hence, we maintains, maintain this chat history in the session state. It, it, it's going to give a look and feel of a chat, right? Uh, since uh, when you're interacting with a user through chat, you, you happen to have the whole history, right? So that's exactly the effect that, would, uh, that this particular uh, statement would have um, over our app. Right, and then I have send button, and if uh, we basically uh, press the send button, what happens is our chat history, right? It gets appended with the latest uh, user input, and then uh, also the bot response. And this is basically the markdown, the HTML markdown, uh, colored in blue, right? Uh, whatever uh, uh, we type, uh, it will appear in uh, uh, blue. And whatever uh, the the bot right types, um, it it is um, it it would appear in red. That's that's basically how we've uh, designed it. And uh, this is Markdown. So you you want uh, 
the markdown so that uh, you you get the feel of a chat window right that's that's basically how it's it's structured uh, let me show you the other part of the code yeah so you can see that uh, we are getting the bot response uh, from generate text right generate text is a function outside main you can see right where it takes two things one is a model uh, the train model the other one is the input text what happens is we do embedding on the input text you can see encode uh, which will be encoding um, the input similar um, to the uh, movie dialog data set it, it's uh, using utf8 right that's basically the encoding that happens once encoding happens we convert them into tensor and then we send it to the model for prediction and then it, it throws a list of embeddings from there we'll have to um, convert them into characters including space and uh, special characters like new line hash everything right and then uh, we join that as one big string uh, that is what we'll be generating so it, 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 it would generate one character at a time um, and then again right once we have the response from the bot we make sure that we append it to the chat history so that folks can look what happened historically over a period of time and uh, you can see that uh, everything speaker and the message is part of chat history and that is being marked right uh, as markdown just to separate um, user and bot what i've done is i've included the bot name and i've also included this unicode sorry unicode uh, smiley uh, um, string right so when the bot would respond it would respond with this smiley just to differentiate and just to add some sort of uh, ui element to it right so this is basically the app and then you have a local tunnel um, in this local tunnel uh, we we wanted to um, launch a streamlit app um, from uh, colab right so we would need local tunnel for that once we install it we will have to run uh, the app.v1 which is this file the main file for inference and it will generate a log file and when you open this log file this is what you would find make sure you copy this address which is what we would be needing um, and each time you run this cell it will generate a link dynamically which is what we'd be using uh, let me generate it again you can see this time it generated a new link uh, so go to this link it is a tunnel site and make sure you copy this address and then paste it here in tunnel right and this will lead us uh, to the bot page yeah now let's see what uh, the bot has to say uh, I've tried to replicate this and uh, in a way where uh, it will look very similar to um, the, the chat GPT, but it's not exactly. So what we've done is uh, whatever um, ping that we do to the bot, it's going to respond. Uh, and most of the time, like I said, it's not going to be very relevant because it's only going to spit uh, the movie dialogue again, right? It's trained on uh, the movie dialogue data set that, that you're looking here. Um, I've removed all the character names, so it's it's only like transcript that, that we're looking at. And it's going to say something um, which is similar to this data set, not essentially to whatever we ping, right? So uh, let me give uh, a random sentence, right? Okay, fine, I'll try this. Uh, you love snakes, something very comical, I've asked. Yeah, you can see, right, it's, it's like typing. Um, and you can see that it's making a lot of typo. The reason being, like I said, it's, it's generating one character at a time. So you, you, you can see that uh, it's basically uh, um, um, typing something that, that has uh, a lot of typos in it. And you can see that uh, sometimes it, it can even swear swear at you right we, we never know because it's based on movie data set but uh, what we've asked is do you do you love snakes um, but 
the response we've got right uh, it, it it's it has very little relevance to whatever we asked right room and they are run in backcourt they saw frank peter work but i really hate it to you if you have a tunnel maybe hate has some relation with whatever we ask and even uh, the backyard right uh, you know most often people find snakes in backyard but it, it, it you can see that it, it it is just spitting some random movie dialogue and you can see that it has stopped with you don Uh, which is incomplete because we are only generating 200 characters at a time um unlike um, tokens right let me ask something um um that's that's personal right uh, um can you describe how beautiful is india okay i can also give question mark most recent uh, response you would see on top yeah <laughs> uh again right very very um cinematic right and its response you could see um you going to meave behind lawn card probably it meant lawn um it's sunday probably it meant sunday mm, he is this stamped on you and my genuine to meet the pictures tie do you do and again right this is not to show you how powerful the model is um it's it's a model like you can say it's a baby gpt um that has um 10 million odd parameters um compared to the billions of parameters that we have in um other llms um, but this is just to show you how to deploy uh, a model um, which is running in cola but still you could deploy that in streamlit for a quick uh, prototype or rapid development right um, that's basically what i wanted to show thank you